What's going on squad? Let's talk about supplementation today. So let's first go over supplementation as in what is it? If we look at the word by itself, supplementation is a supplement. We're taking this particular additive on top of what we are already doing. By pure definition of the word, do we essentially need to take supplementation? No, there are hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people that have fantastic physiques and they don't take a single supplement. So is it required? No. However, is it helpful? Yes, it is helpful. Whenever we talk about supplements, the only supplement that I absolutely recommend right off rip are vitamins, specifically a multivitamin. Why? Because as we get older, our body stops producing or starts producing them in limited quantity, not as we were when we were younger. The nutrients that we need to support a healthy system, they become that much more necessary. My personal recommendation, I do recommend a multivitamin to everyone watching this channel subscribe unsubscribe i don't care i highly recommend that you take a multivitamin highly recommend that no matter what the age if you're young get started now it'll only make you even better than where you're at the other three that we're going to talk about are protein powders or shake doesn't matter bcaa's and creatine now i picked these three in particular because of what the iso chain is all about so we've already discussed that we can stimulate a hypertrophic response on the ISO chain. The load just has to be at the right level and the time has to be at the right time. So we already know how to do that. Um, if you guys haven't seen a video on that, here's a link right here um, on I isometric training and, and hypertrophy. Go ahead and check that out. But let's talk about protein powder first. Sometimes people look at isometric training in a little bit of a different light. Kind of like if I could sum up the face, it'd probably be this. We are still inflicting damage to the muscle. We are still stimulating a growth response, provided you do it right. So after a tough isometric session, even though we do have the Fen effect going on so that we recover quicker, we still need to replenish our body because of the damage we just inflicted to it. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the term magic hour, but uh, pretty much after any weightlifting session, you have anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour to get some protein or some type of food in you to really fill in the gaps on all the damage you just inflicted to your body in that last uh, workout session. So it's the same concept here. That's where the protein powder comes in. Always took protein right after all my workouts. Still do it to this day, a habit from 13 years ago. Highly recommend doing that after an ISO chain session. Get some food in you. Get some food in you creatine you'll see a lot of people say take creatine before the workout you'll see a lot of people say take creatine after the workout my personal opinion personal opinion take it afterwards why take it afterwards we want to take creatine afterwards for the same reason that we took the protein afterwards think about it what does creatine do it improves strength and lean muscle mass and it helps the muscles recover more quickly after exercise it's on google you can look it up yourself so if it helps the muscles recover more quickly, the key word in that sentence is the word recover. So we want to take it after the workout to help it recover, right? So just my personal opinion, if, if you've always taken it before and you've gotten results that way, do your thing, man. If it ain't broke, don't fix it for you. Everybody is different. And the last one, which I was actually debating on putting on here, but then I decided to do it anyway, are BCAAs, branch chain amino acids. Now, of all the supplements that I've mentioned so far, this is the only one that we can't produce by ourselves because it contains leucine, isoleucine, and valine. They are essential. What does that mean? It means that we can't produce that by ourselves. It can only be obtained from consumption. And they've been shown across the board to build muscle, decrease muscle fatigue, and alleviate muscle soreness. Now, I know what you might be thinking, but with the iso chain, we really don't get sore. Or even with loadless, we don't really get sore. I know, you're right. Usually when we get sore, we're talking about those really long holes, aka the hypertrophy and the endurance holes. I remember the first time I did both of those, I was sore. For the six by six, not really, except when I did that challenge back in, I think it was October or whatever. Now, like I said, are they necessary? No, you can still get great results without it. It's just a supplement. If you find that your current diet is lacking in any of what these supplements can provide to you. So for example, let's say you have to consume 150 grams of protein to meet minimum requirement for that. That's your macro. And your diet pretty much gets you to like 115. Well, then you probably wanna invest in some protein shakes or protein powder 
so that you could fill that gap and hit the protein number required to um, develop more lean muscle mass. That's what the supplement is. It's supplementing your diet. The multivitamins, because my diet has a lot of nutritional gaps. It's not terrible. I mean, my diet's pretty good. It's about an 80-20 but it doesn't cover all the nutritional gaps. So I wanna make sure I'm taking a multivitamin to cover all those gaps. The creatine, to get more bang for your buck, I usually cycle these every couple of months, but honestly, is it required? No. Multivitamin is, is totally different. I've taken that almost the entire time. The other supplements, I've only messed around with that like maybe three years tops out of the entire 13. Honorable mention, pre-workout. If your lifestyle is pretty demanding and you feel like you need that extra boost take it take the pre-workout if you feel that you're good you've been working out this whole time and you don't need a pre-workout don't take it why why invest the money if your body's totally fine anyway why start messing with stuff if it ain't if it ain't broke don't fix it just my personal opinion that, that's always how i've seen these things and probably thought i was crazy for not mentioning this glucosamine and chondroitin Glucosamine and chondroitin are supplements designed to help our soft tissue, our connective tissues. So you'll see a lot of people get prescribed glucosamine and chondroitin, or usually a fusion of both in a pill form if they're having a lot of joint issues or joint pain, joint troubles. And just FYI, here's what glucosamine does. I'm gonna break it down. Here's why we probably should take this. But again, I'm not telling you guys you need to be taking this. Glucosamine is used by the body to make other chemicals that build tendons. Not only tendons, ligaments, cartilage, and the fluid that surrounds the joints. Doesn't that sound familiar? Bursae. Doesn't that sound familiar? Right? That's pretty much <laughs> part of the whole bulletproofing effect that we get from the isochain. So why not double up on that with glucosamine? And then what is chondroitin? A chondroitin supplement helps keep the cartilage healthy by absorbing the fluid, particularly water, into connective tissue. And it may even block enzymes that break down cartilage, pretty much providing the stimulus to build new cartilage. Now, I've always been transparent on the channel. If you're ever wondering what supplements I would recommend, like the brand, check out my Amazon link in the, in the link section below. And I'm gonna stop you right there because I wanna let you know that I'm not here to sell product. The whole point of this video wasn't to sell you on a product to go through my link. If you don't wanna use it, do not use it. And if you have your own products that you're already using, please, by all means, use those. I'm not here to be a salesman, I'm just here to help. But these ones and my link are the ones that I've been using with pretty good results. And I feel comfortable enough that I wanted to share that with my audience. So that's why I decided to leave that link right there for you so it's on the amazon it's on the uh, no limit store and on amazon what do you guys think what are some supplements that you take that you felt has helped with your isometric training we're not even talking about the isochain um your isometric training do you feel that what you've been taking has helped comment down below don't be stingy tell us share with us all right guys and hopefully this was of some value to us there will be another video on this about food all right guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video, you found it valuable, be sure to drop a like, go ahead and comment. It helps the algorithm out so more people see videos like this because there's not a lot of people talking about isometrics, probably because they don't think it works, but they're going to learn today. <laughs> and if you're not yet part of the squad, hit that subscribe button. Come join the squad with us. Knowledge is power, but better than knowledge is power, applied knowledge is power. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.